Children in Chicago now have a new official bedtime. City officials have just approved a curfew in an effort to cut down on crime and bring a long-running series of child killings to an end. CBS News national correspondent Dean Reynolds has more now from Chicago. It is the latest reaction to the violence in the city that is ravaging the young. I don't want to send a message. I just want to make kids safe. I want a curfew policy that's clear and unambiguous. Making sure that kids, like I used to have, lights go on, you get home. By unanimous vote in the city council, the new weekday curfew means kids younger than 12 must be off the streets by 8.30 every night and 9 on weekends. For those 12 to 16, the times are 10 on weekdays and 11 on weekends. New Mayor Rahm Emanuel says it's past time to turn the tide in the city that's become infamous for murdered kids. If you're indoors or an adult supervised activity, you're safe. But critics and concerned parents point to lax enforcement of the existing 1030 curfew. They're getting people, but I think they can get more. In 2009, police issued 23,000 curfew citations. Last year, 19,000. But halfway into this year, the number is only 8,000. The mayor says that will change, particularly since the new ordinance will hit parents in the wallet. A parent or guardian can face community service or a fine of up to $500 if their child is caught after curfew. A pending recommendation would triple the fine for three offenses in one year. The idea is that threatening absentee parents with a heavy penalty may spare their children from paying the ultimate price. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Chicago.